Have you ever seen a tarantula feeding frenzy? Hello tarantula lovers, I'm Alex and you're watching Tarantula Haven. I know I've been kind of spabbing you a little bit with my Monocentropus balfouri, but today's not going to be any different. Um, in my previous two videos, actually the last video was an unboxing, but the two previous to that were on my Monocentropus balfouri. One of them, of course, I was rehousing them to a larger enclosure. And then the second one, I did a time-lapse video of them webbing up their enclosure so that you can see the whole process. And in that video, I tried to capture their feeding behaviors, but it, I got nothing. I put the roaches in there, and I guess because the enclosure was too new and they haven't webbed up everything yet, um, they did not come out to eat. One of them came out and investigated the roach, went right back in and did nothing. So I captured absolutely nothing, and it was a little bit embarrassing to have that. So I decided that I wanted to capture their feeding behavior, so I set up again after they had webbed up the enclosure pretty good, and I got a little bit better results. Then I decided I wanted to capture it again because I still hadn't done anything different. I was still using the same dim light and uh, the video was still kind of grainy so I decided I was gonna go out and get a light and I wanted something that would be red and a red LED because they can't see in that spectrum and uh, I found this light and it's called the Tetra Color Fusion and it sells for about 20 bucks and I'll post a link to that below but um, it looks like this it's a little stick like that with a little strip LED on it and it's got a little control button here and a relatively long power cord and uh, it's pretty cool you turn it on like this and it emits kind of a bright LED light and uh, the only drawback to it it does change colors it goes through the entire color spectrum but you have to kind of wait until it gets to the color that you want I don't know if you see it changing colors there like right now it's on red so if I click the button it will pause it on red and then I can use it as red but if I want to change it to a different color say blue um, I just have to click this again and it will continue to go through the color spectrum until it gets to the next color and then again you can pause it so not that much of a drawback and if you hold it down it does shut off but you know it takes a little bit of patience but if you miss that color uh, or you, you're kind of waiting for it to get to the right point and then you miss it and it keeps going then you have to wait for it to cycle right back again so yeah that is a little bit of a drawback because it does require some patience especially if patience especially if you messed up so um, one bit of warning in the video when I do have the light on it is a red light so after watching it a while um, your eyes will get will turn your vision will turn blue so when you reach the end of this video you'll probably see things on in a with a bluish tint and uh, that's just because you've been viewing the red color spectrum and blue will, be, will become more prominent to you so I apologize for that but that's just one of the drawbacks or one of the results of looking at something with red light so, on with the feeding frenzy. The uh, first recording I did, I, I didn't really know what to expect, but I had allowed them to set up their webbing. And um, so I threw down some roaches and I started recording, and I pretty much got almost immediate response.
And again, the second recording, this time I used the light and I wasn't really sure what to expect. Um, I know that they're not supposed to be able to see the red light and it appears as if it's still dark. So I was kind of worried because it was like an hour and a half before anything even happened and uh, while I was checking the video. But then I was pleasantly surprised when stuff did start happening. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I felt it was important to show you the feeding behaviors of this 
species. Um, they are unlike any other species. When they feed, um, you do have little skirmishes, little clashes that happen when they fight over the same piece of food, but they usually end peacefully. Um, I say usually because I've never witnessed anything other than a peaceful resolution where either one will take it and run to a, a corner and keep its food, or they will split the food. They'll actually tear the roach apart and each one will take off with its own bit of food. But um, yeah, it's kind of funny that they get so engrossed in what they're doing that you'll have three, maybe four tarantulas on one roach. And sometimes they'll even forget or neglect one that might be nearby wiggling and moving because they're so focused on that one piece of food. But like I said, they usually result pretty peacefully. They will always end up getting food and uh, somehow or another they work things out. So very interesting social group, social behaviors that you don't usually see in the tarantula world. So that's one of the reasons why the Monocentropus balfouri is one of my favorite species. I just enjoy everything about them. Just the whole webbing, the the way that they live communally and their social behaviors. It's, it's definitely something that's rewarding if you plan on getting into that particular species. So that's it for me for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you want to support this channel, I have a Redbubble store where I sell Tarantula Haven merchandise. There's a link down below in the description. Until next time, keep loving them tarantulas.